The mainstream media wants you to think that Bernie Sanders is the most divisive and toxic candidate, but it seems like one of their favorites, Joe Biden, just decided to go explicitly negative. And he released this campaign ad where he accuses Bernie Sanders of basically being a gigantic liar. As Democrats, we can't launch dishonest attacks against fellow Democrats. We have to beat Donald Trump. Now Bernie's campaign has unleashed a barrage of negative attacks on Joe Biden. They've even accused Joe Biden of supporting Paul Ryan's cuts to Social Security. Bernie's campaign is not telling the truth. Joe Biden has repeatedly voted to save Social Security. He and President Obama beat back Republican attempts to privatize it. And in 2012, Joe Biden even said he didn't support those cuts to Paul Ryan. We will be no part of a voucher program or the privatization of Social Security. Biden's plan protects Social Security and will increase benefits. Bernie's negative attacks won't change the truth. Joe Biden is still the strongest Democrat to beat Donald Trump. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. So that was absolutely pathetic. And Joe Biden is saying that Bernie Sanders' team is lying and Bernie himself is lying. And what did they do? Play clips and share clips of Joe Biden himself saying that he wants to cut Social Security. So, I mean, it's really Joe Biden who is the liar. And to accuse Bernie Sanders' team of lying by sharing videos of you and your own words, this is the Democratic equivalent of alternative facts. You are just lying, living in your own reality. Which wouldn't surprise me because Joe Biden cognitively has been on the decline for quite some time. Lana, I got hairy legs that turn that 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 turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. Now he says here, as Democrats, we can't launch dishonest attacks against fellow Democrats. Question: Would that include? lying and falsely accusing individuals like Bernie Sanders of doctoring videos of you? Because you haven't apologized for that. Bernie apologized to you when he shouldn't have after one of his surrogates called you corrupt, but we're all still waiting on an apology from, from Joe Biden after he said that Bernie's team doctored a video, which is an outrageous claim to make, but nothing. Now, in that video, notice how he moves the goalpost. What Bernie Sanders' team did was share videos of Joe Biden straight from the horse's mouth saying, I want to cut Social Security, but what does he say in that? Oh, well, I told Paul Ryan at that debate that uh, I'm against privatization. Right, but we're not talking about privatization. Nobody's accusing you of wanting to privatize Social Security. What we're saying is you want to cut Social Security, and you have a history of saying and trying to do that. Like, does anyone remember the grand bargain where Obama and Joe Biden tried to team up with Republicans? Thankfully, that fell through, but one of the things on the chopping block was Social Security. It was Bernie Sanders who was calling on Obama's administration to stop that. And second of all, even if, let's say, you explicitly in that debate against Paul Ryan uh, said, you know what, we're not going to cut Social Security. You weren't even talking about privatization. When you're running for office, you say things to convince people to support you. Uh, the last two presidents, Donald Trump and Barack Obama, both ran on the promise that they wouldn't cut Social Security, but yet... They both wanted to do that. Obama tried it and failed, thankfully. And Donald Trump has had it on his uh, budget requests for how many years now? And he just signaled again that he'd be open to cutting Social Security and entitlements if he's reelected. I mean, I don't care what you say on the campaign trail. I care what you do when you are in power. So this is just outrageous, the fact that he would accuse Bernie Sanders of being a liar when he has lied repeatedly throughout the course of this campaign about his own record. It's just, it's insane. He's been caught in so many lies with regard to, you know, his support for the Iraq war when it comes to the crime bill. And yet he still is accusing Bernie Sanders of being a liar. I mean, the audacity, the gall of this person. So Bernie Sanders, thankfully actually hit back and released an ad yet again of Joe Biden saying himself, I want to cut Social Security. When I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans. Benefit. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice. I tried it a third time and I tried it a fourth time. Well, we've got some bad news for them. We are not going to cut Social Security. We're going to expand benefits. 
That was absolutely great. It was short but sweet. And if I were Bernie Sanders, I would be running that ad everywhere in Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, South Carolina, because this needs to be seen. Joe Biden is not reliable. In fact, he's a threat to Social Security. And people need to know that. And to the chagrin of Joe Biden, we have this thing, I don't know if he's heard of it, called the Internet where we can go back decades ago and see specifically what you said, find videos of you saying things that you're now saying that you never said, finding you supporting policies that uh, you claimed to never have supported. See, in the age of the internet, you'd think that politicians wouldn't be as brazen about lying about their records, but it hasn't changed anything. And Joe Biden's not alone. Hillary Clinton did the same thing in 2016. But I mean, it's just, it's so pathetic. Now, because what Joe Biden released was in fact an attack ad, a reporter asked him uh, why attack Bernie Sanders. And his response, it was, um, I guess you could describe it as interesting, if anything. Why attack Sanders? Why, 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 why attack Sanders? Why, 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 the man's brain is melting out of his ears. He's becoming unhinged. And like, I think that he believes that this will make him appear more likable. But the perspective is that we all see you on TV. You struggle to collect your thoughts. Um, you are having a difficult time articulating, you know, coherent sentences. Your brain is melting. This doesn't prove otherwise, Joe. This isn't helping your case. Now, he was also on MSNBC, and he was interviewed by Morning Joe, and he gave, uh, I guess you could say, a better answer, but nonetheless, he still lied. I want to pull hey, you really? back into the campaign you... just a little bit and talk about Bernie Sanders' criticism <coughs> sure. of you on that question of Social Security, because as you pointed out, he did apologize to you for the op-ed written by a surrogate calling you corrupt. Uh, though I also put out that clip that misrepresented your position when talking about Paul Ryan. Clearly, you were mocking Paul Ryan and being facetious. But just last night, I want to put up a tweet from Bernie Sanders. He wrote this to you. Let's be honest, Joe. One of us fought for decades to cut Social Security. One of us didn't. But don't take it from me, take it from you. They include there a video clip, a statement you made on the Senate floor in 1995 where you were talking about freezing federal spending, including Social Security. So it's not just surrogates, and he can complain, but it's coming from the principal himself. They think they have an issue with you on Social Security. So once and for all, will you cut Social Security benefits if you become president? No, 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 no. And we weren't talking about cutting them either then. That was trying to figure out how we got through a debacle where the whole government didn't shut down. And so, look, it's, it's uh, um, <laughs> I find it amazing that we go back and look at statements, many of them, most of them taken out of context of 10, 20, 30, 35 years ago. And it's like my going back and pointing out how, how Bernie voted against the Brady Bill five times while I was trying to get a pass when he was the House, or how he voted to you know, uh, protect gun manufacturers is the only group in America you can't sue. I mean, he, he's made up for that. He, he's indicated that was passed. Um, but I, I, you know, if you want to talk about things that are really different, um, you know, my support for Social Security has been solid my entire career. I did join with a lot of other Democrats uh, to uh, make sure we fix Social Security, quote unquote, made it solvent during the Reagan years. Um, but uh, look, it's all about making sure we have, you know, we have we have one real obligation as to the very, as Hubert Humphrey said, the, the very the youngest among us and the oldest among us. That's real, and I've never walked away from that. Did you think these attacks from the Sanders campaign are dishonest? What I don't want to do is start to characterize them. I, I accept the apology, and I hope we'll argue in the facts. It's funny how he says he wants to argue based on the facts. But he keeps lying. In that interview, he was lying through his teeth. And it's unbelievable. We have him on tape. Bernie created an ad where he uses your words, and he still insists that he never said he wanted to cut Social Security. What? 
That is outrageous. And every single pundit in America should be calling him out because we have him on video, not doctored. It's been shared more than a million times where Joe Biden says very clearly, I tried to cut Social Security. And he's saying, no, that never happened. His defense. Uh, that was them trying to figure out how we uh, got through a debacle where the whole government didn't shut down. Right. By cutting Social Security. That's what you wanted to do. You proposed cuts to Social Security to keep the government open. So how does not, that not qualify as you saying that you want to cut Social Security? I mean, it's unbelievable. This individual is becoming Trumpier and Trumpier as the primary goes on. Like, if he's the nominee, God forbid, we're going to choose between Orange Trump and White Trump. Like, that's the choice. Because this individual is a liar. He is lying through his teeth while he ironically accuses Bernie Sanders of lying, it's just outrageous to me. It is outrageous. And the fact that this isn't on the headline of every single newspaper, the New York Times, the Washington Post, just calling out his brazen lie, it goes to show you that the media does have a horse in this race. And they're siding with Joe Biden. And they made that pretty explicit because a Bloomberg reporter named Jennifer Epstein decided to dig through old videos of Bernie Sanders so she could basically get him. And it's funny because when we talk about politicians saying they want to cut social security we oftentimes point out their code words that they use to inadvertently suggest cuts meaning you know if they say i want to fix it or i want adjustments so a reporter from bloomberg tried to find a video of bernie sanders saying that he wants to adjust social security and just the mere fact that they did this research shows you that they're trying to run interference for Joe Biden. But Epstein tweeted out, New, Bernie Sanders spoke in 1996 about the future need for adjustments to Social Security, a term that Sanders' campaign slash allied Social Security group had called a euphemism for cuts when it was used by Biden. Now, we'll get to the article because they don't have a case, but the reason why we call out when politicians use words like adjust is because they're trying to hide their agenda. If Bernie Sanders says we need to make adjustments to Social Security and then he explains what he means by that, I don't have a problem with that. Like, do you not understand why we cite use of doublespeak? Like, Joe Biden is vague when he talks about Social Security. Look, we need to make some adjustments to it. Well, what does that mean? He never says. And like Republicans, we can assume, also based on his history, that he wants to cut Social Security. It's the same way as when politicians say that we need to increase access to health care. Well, what does that mean? Well, it's a code word for, I don't support Medicare for all. I'm in favor of just, you know, tweaking around the edges. So, in this own article <laughs> that this reporter uh, put out, it explains how Bernie Sanders does say what he means by adjustments. Quote, in an October 1996 Burlington Free Press guide to that year's election, Sanders' view on the issue was again described with the A word. Quote, Sanders says Social Security is projected to be solvent through 2020, but Congress will need to adjust revenues and benefits to keep it financially sound, the paper said. Sanders' record shows he supported increasing funding for Social Security and opposed benefit cuts throughout his political career. In 1995, he warned that the balanced budget amendment, which Biden supported, would lead to, quote, the destruction of the Social Security system as we know it. He also introduced and sponsored legislation throughout the 1990s to protect and increase American Social Security checks. But wait, he still used the word adjustments and you all said that that's a no-no word so got him unreal no the word is problematic when that's all we get when that is your policy proposal for social security when you just say you want to adjust it we don't know what that means but when you say you want to adjust it but then you explicitly say i want to lift the cap on social security it's not problematic. But you see, this isn't about trying to get Bernie Sanders. It's an attempt to downplay the significance of the word adjust in order to cover for Joe Biden. So that way, when he says that we should adjust Social Security, you know, you don't think that it's as nefarious. And I'm assuming that the author didn't really expect people to read this entire article and just wanted you to look at the headline. So that way you would think, oh, well, Bernie must mean that he wants to cut Social Security as well. I mean, the whole point of this is to defend Joe Biden. So the entire media establishment in America has chosen a side. When someone is brazenly lying like Joe Biden, they're siding with Joe Biden. We are using Joe Biden's own words against him. 
And they're siding with Joe Biden, sweeping that all under the rug, not talking about his history of wanting to cut Social Security. This is unbelievable. And I want you all to remember this because when the media questions why there's no trust in them, it's instances like this because you are giving Joe Biden a pass. And there are some reporters from Bloomberg who are actively trying to get Bernie Sanders when we're trying to show you that Joe Biden has a history of advocating for cuts to Social Security. So when he says we need to fix it or adjust it, that should be a red flag. It's not a red flag if Bernie says it and then says how he wants to adjust it. But the fact that Joe Biden doesn't say how he wants to adjust it in and of itself, that's a problem. Now, in that MSNBC clip that I showed you, he did say, look, I want to protect Social Security. I don't I don't support cutting it. But here's the thing. Again, when we have the last two presidents, Barack Obama and Donald Trump, run on protecting Social Security, but then their actions indicate otherwise, I don't trust you. I'm sorry. And if Joe Biden is willing to brazenly lie and call Bernie Sanders a liar, then why should we believe that you actually wouldn't want to cut Social Security? You're already saying that you want to work with Republicans. You keep saying nice things about Republicans. So why should we believe you, Joe Biden? The answer is we should not. And the media should be ashamed of themselves for actually giving him a pass when this should sink his campaign. That turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. So it was trained and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap.